Today I'm going to do a VU meter adjustment on a Sharp GF9191 stereo cassette recorder that I'm currently re restoring. I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do both channels, but in this video I'm only going to do one channel. The first thing I had to do was to set up my audio generator so it was putting out a thousand hertz sine wave at minus 60 dB. I figured out that minus 60 dB, 60 dB was one millivolt and I had to use my AC meter to set that up. So I have leads from my my audio generator hooked up to my AC millivolt meter and I have to adjust the output of the audio generator so that it's one millivolt. I have the the um, milli, millivolt meter set up so it's on the lowest that's the most sensitive range that's from which goes from basically goes up to 10 millivolts and right now I see that it's putting out about two and a half millivolts so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it get it down to one millivolt there I go so I have that set up now that that's done I'm gonna go ahead and connect my AC voltmeter to one of the test points. There's two separate test points. One's for the left channel, one's for the right channel. I got this hooked up to, actually hooked this up to the the ground, to the phono ground, and I'm just going to grab one of these test points here and put the meter leads on that. I got that set up now. You're also supposed to short circuit the primary coil of the oscillation coil so you can stop the bias oscillator which will be so you won't get any false readings so basically I just took a little little alligator test lead and I'm gonna go ahead and short it out across there's a capacitor I think it's C306 and that's gonna be that's basically right across the primary of that coil. So I got that shorted out. And it looks like I'm supposed to put the record switch in the manual position, which I already have. The tape is in the normal position. And the stereo switch is in the stereo position. And over on the left hand side the record level controls here are supposed to be set to maximum okay I got that done so I'm going to use this cable to make the connection from my audio generator to the external micro microphone inputs of the boom box you can connect an external microphone in the back of the boom box for the left channel and the right channel. I'm going to go ahead and do one channel at a time. This cable here is actually um, cable. It's this cable is like a 3.5 millimeter. This has like a 3.5 millimeter plug, and these are just regular RCA type phono plugs. The cable is not really made for this, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Anyway, since I don't have anything else, I just got to make sure I'm using, I got the audio generator hooked up to the right side because one of these, this is ground and here one's left channel, one's the right channel and only the very end is going to go ahead and make an internal contact because like I said, this, this here, this cable is not really made for it so I think it's this white cable here. I'm going to hook up the black to the ground and the signal side here right there. 
and I'm just going to take the other end and plug it into one of these channels there. So that should do. So I got the unit plugged in and here's, I'm supposed to put it in record mode. I'm going to, I don't have a cassette in here so I'm just going to go ahead and defeat the that anti-record cassette mechanism by pressing down on that and then hitting the play and record at the same time. See what we got here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm supposed to adjust the record level slider so my AC voltmeter reads 3.5 millivolts. Looks like I've got the the right channel the output from my audio generator hooked up to the right channel external microphone input which seems to be working but I'm getting nothing on my AC millivolt meter which means I think I'm hooked up to the wrong test point There's I'm going to grab the one from the other channel. I think there's... Okay, looks like that did something. So then I'm supposed to go ahead and... adjust this to... 3.5 volts three point excuse me 3.5 millivolts that looks like it's about okay and then I'm supposed to adjust the potentiometer under here underneath this cover here I got to take this off so this I think that is the needle supposed to be right on zero and right now it looks like it's about plus three so i think it's this potentiometer right there i'm going to try to adjust that very slowly okay here i go well it looks like it was the right one so that's supposed to be right on Zero. That's close enough for me.